Håkan from AVX Hooks. Today I will be tying a damsel nymph. And uh, the damsel nymph is very common in most still water. Uh, and we will be tying the nymph on the sedge hook, sedge dry, FW530. This is the size 10. We start by setting the thread just behind the hook guy and we tie in nylon dumbbells or nylon eyes and tie them in <coughs> not too close to the hook guy because we will need to have some room for making the head of the fly and do some figure of eight with thread to secure it can put some super glue over it if you want to be totally sure to sit there. And then we go back, tie in the tail. And for the tail, I'm using a few fibers of olive marabou. And don't make it too long. There we have it. Uh, for the ribbing, I will be using a nylon stretch in olive color. Uh, most of the damsel nymph are quite dark in the color. Some are close to black or really dark olive, so I'm using the dark olive dubbing and try to keep the abdomen as slender as possible. They are long nymphs but not very heavy or thick. And make sure it's even or as even as possible. And then we cross wind the rib. The rib doesn't show much, but it gives the fly a bit of segmentation, which I like. And tidy. The fly has quite a big wing case. And for the wing case, I'm using dark olive, or in this case, black Swiss straw. So I tie it in and making a short piece cover the part of the abdomen. And I tie it down a bit far further on the hook shank and then fold it back. It's easier to tie it down if you tie it forward a bit. And the thorax is also dubbing, but I'm using ice or SLF Prism olive to get a bit of flesh or glitter in the fly, but still keep it slender. And I don't take the dubbing all the way to the nylon eyes because we are supposed to have a hackle here. And for legs or hackle, I'm using olive Partridge and I tie it in by the tip because it's easier to handle the hackle. You don't actually need a hackle plier because you can hold the stem. And pull back the fibers and make one, one and a half turn and secure. And you, when we're folding the wing case forward, you can just put it over if you want, but I use a needle to make an extra wing case. I just fold it over the needle and push it down. 
like this. And then I tie down the Swiss straw all the way to the hook eye. And then we take some more eye stub to cover the eyes and the head. And then we fold back the wing case once more and tie it down. And we secure it with wick finish. And then we cut off the Swiss draw. So we have actually three wing cases. And there we have the finished flight.